when we shoot in 4K, we get some crop. A lot. Is there anything we can do to fix it? What's up guys, Dan Forlani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, there's one thing you need to know. I make videos with and about the Canon 90D, the Canon EOS R, the Canon R6 and the Canon M50. What do I talk about today? The Canon EOS R, which is filming right now. What about it? When it first came out in 2018, nobody seemed to like it. Well, it's understandable because its specs are not really overwhelming. But then everybody started to use it because it looks great like in 1080, just awesome. Also the 4K is good, but I'll talk about it in a few seconds, which is actually the topic of the video. There are two things, two negative things about this camera. Number one is the fact that if you want to shoot in slow motion, we do have 120 frames per second, but in 720, and that's a bummer, come on. I have to admit, it doesn't look bad at all, but it's still 720. Alternatively, we can shoot 60 in 1080 and slow it down in post and we get a 50% speed slow motion, which is decent. And the second issue is the fact that when we shoot in 4K, we get some major crop. Okay, let me start from the beginning. Right now, I'm using the Canon EOS R with a 16 to 35 millimeters f2.8 Mark II at 20 something millimeters. And if I want to, or if I need to, I can go wider at 16 millimeters. Look at this. It's pretty wide, isn't it? have to say to be able to use this lens EF lens and also EFS lenses on the Canon EOS R I use the Canon adapter okay so now I'm gonna show you what happens when we shoot in 4k and here it is the Canon EOS R with a 16 to 35 millimeters f2.8 mark II with a regular adapter ah oh, and by the way hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things my gear as you noticed when we shoot in 4k we get some crop a lot is there anything we can do to fix it besides using a wider lens uh actually yes we can use a different adapter what I have here, for example, it's made by Viltrox. It's an adapter that allows me to use EF lenses, not EFS lenses, but EF lenses only on any R mount camera. And what's so special about this adapter? It multiplies the field of view of the lens times 0.71. So even though we don't get like the complete full frame look, but close enough. So. I'm gonna try it in one second, but first I wanted to show you why we cannot use this on any lens, but only EF lenses. Okay, here I have the 10 to 18 millimeters EFS. And they just don't match together because of the mount. Here, there is a plastic element here and a glass element here. And that makes it possible to use EFS lenses with this adapter that we can call Speed Booster. I mean, you could fix that by hacking the lens, but my advice, don't do it. You could damage your lens and or your camera. But anyways, right now, 
I'm gonna show you what happens when we use this speed booster with a 16 to 35 millimeters f2.8 mark 2 at 16 millimeters in 4k and here it is the Canon EOS R with the 16 to 35 millimeters at 16 millimeters in 4k with the speed booster so what do you think about it leave a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things my gear okay so look at this i think with the speed booster the the problem of the 4k it's almost completely gone when we need a really wide shot and we want to shoot in 4k we don't have that huge limitation anymore it's a big difference so this is what, what concerns the crop in 4K, but there is another thing that the speed booster does, besides multiplying the field of view times 0.71, giving us this major improvement in the field of view. It increases the maximum aperture of the lens. For example, now the maximum aperture of this lens, 16 to 35 millimeters, is f2.8, but with the speed booster, I can go down to f2. And so much light. One second I adjust the I adjust the lights. Much better now. With this lens, not only do we solve the problem of the crop in 4K, but we even get a wider aperture. And that's great in low light, and we get some extra shallow depth of field. I mean we don't get much with this lens, we don't get much blur in the background because of its nature it's a wide angle lens there's there isn't much compression but still i think we can tell there is a, a kind of a difference so this is what i wanted to show you today that if you own a canon eos r or if you have the opportunity to get one like a second hand one or you can get one for a very good price like a good deal but you're not sure because you know this thing of the cropping 4k as i showed you with the speed booster, that's not an issue. Not anymore. All right, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button right now and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon, my next video.